Well, back in November 2016, 54-year-old Oluwafemi Igberasi of Bowie pleaded guilty to misusing a social security number to fraudulently obtain a Maryland medical license. He was masquerading as an accredited doctor of gynecology and obstetrics in Prince George's County. The fake doctor served only six months in federal prison, but many of his victims are only now finding out about his crimes. It just grossed me out. It's just not, not something you should have to deal with at all. Jaleesa Smith only found out this past Thanksgiving that she was a victim of a fake doctor operating in Prince George's County. She saw an ad like this one on Facebook searching for victims of Dr. Charles Okoda. Several months ago, I was contacted by a couple women who had seen Dr., and I use that term loosely, Dr. Okoda, and they had uh, read on the Internet how he was not actually a physician and that how he had pled guilty to a crime and they wanted to see what could be done as far as pursuing a civil case um, and the more I looked into it I realized that it's not just a couple women that saw Dr. Okoda but that in all likelihood it's hundreds and hundreds of people that were treated by this doctor. More than a year has passed since Aluwafemi Igberasi was sentenced to six months in prison for using the false identity of Dr. Charles Okoda. But victims are just learning about the depth of his lies. There were forged documents indicating that he attended a medical school in Nigeria. Um, no one has been able to verify it, and I believe it's also in the, um, the court records that they could not verify that he actually attended medical school. What we do know is he came here under a different name, um, he took the foreign medical exam several times and failed it. He then came up with a new identity, uh, with a new social security number, eventually passed the foreign medical exam and entered a residency, um, at, at, ultimately at Howard University, under a fake name. Now, the so-called Dr. Okoda got his first big break when he got hired by a Dr. Chaudhry, who has this office here in Cheverly, as well as one in District Heights. He did a lot of my pelvic exams without a CNA or someone else in the room. And when I brought it to his attention, he was just like, uh, oh, you don't have to have a CNA if they're out doing something. It was just little stuff like that. And then when stuff got serious in the doctor's office, because I had high-risk pregnancies, he would never know what to do. It was always, let me consult with Dr. Chaudhry. Okoda also had privileges at Prince George's Hospital Center. In 2012, Smith says she was admitted to the hospital after becoming very ill. That's where a feeding tube was inserted into her arm. They allowed him to put this pick line in my arm, and I ended up coming back to the hospital later that night due to blood clots from my lung and going towards my heart. And I stayed in the hospital maybe another month and a half after that. This isn't the first time the fake doctor has come to the attention of authorities. Uh, we had a case where he was charged with rape, uh, someone who had allegedly been a patient of his while he was operating without uh, a proper medical license, uh, accused him of that. He, he was charged with it. The county police, along with our office, investigated it. Uh, unfortunately, we had to dismiss those charges because there was insufficient evidence to move forward. Attorneys say the so-called doctor did more than just conduct office visits. Breast exams, pap smears, but I've talked with many people who had their babies delivered by this doctor, had cesarean sections performed on them, and it never should have been done. And the people that I've talked to, uh, there are numerous complications that resulted from the procedures that Dr. Okoda performed. And attorneys say Ig Barassi, a.k.a. Dr. Charles Okoda, may have many more victims in the region who have yet to realize that they were treated under false pretenses.